Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Stadium! Today we are going to enter a brand new cup. This one over to the left is the Petite Cup for level 25 to 30 Pokemon. And in Pokemon Yellow we just got our Pikachu Thor up to level 25. So he is now eligible to enter. Let's go! I could have waited until he was level 30, but I just don't think it's really that necessary. So I do have a team picked out here, and it is as follows. Sorry for the random cuts. Anyways, I'm going to pick up a Geo dude who has Rock Throw, Self-Destruct, Dig, and Strength. I'm also going to pick up a Horsey, which has Smoke Screen, Swift, Ice Beam, and Bubble Beam. I'm going to get a Growlithe. Where is it? Oh, this is the... Just so you guys know, this is the entire list. This is all the Pokemon that are available. Uh, let's get Growlithe right here. Fire Blast, Bite, Mimic, and Leer. I'll also pick up a Sandshrew. Where are you? Okay, Slash, Poison Sting, Rock Slide, and Dig. And finally, the ultimate addition to the team that is just going to be awesome. Magikarp, Splash and Tackle. Let's go! So, I got to be completely honest with you guys. There was a cut back there because I did not realize this was a level 25 to 30 tournament. I thought it was just a 20 to 25. So, I actually meant to get my Pikachu to 30 before I started this. Oh well, I'm going to pick Growlithe for this. I'll also pick... Uh, Thor and everything else is weak to those guys, so I guess stand true. But, whoops. So, at level 26 in Pokemon Yellow... Oh, hold on. Yes. Yes, indeed. That is the point of this tournament. But yes, uh, level 26, Pikachu will learn Thunderbolt, which would have helped a lot with this tournament. But I guess I just done goofed, and I guess I'm doing it at level 25. Because apparently I'm dumb. If this doesn't work out so well, I guess I'll come back at level 30, but I kind of already said a bajillion million times in Pokemon Yellow that I needed to get to level 25 and stop there. So I am just the biggest doofus when I could have got to level 30 this whole time. How... I don't know, how, how am I so bad at planning things? I didn't even realize I could get past 25. Whatever, man. At the very least... We do have some rentals that should hopefully be able to handle most things. I mean, Magikarp is going to take down things, no problem. Except it's Oddish. There's nothing too difficult in the Petite Cup. But to be fair, in my practice attempts, I did have a level 30 Pikachu. I just now remember. Because I remember when I did practice for this, I had Thunderbolt on Pikachu. And I was like, why don't I have Thunderbolt now? I don't know why it just never connected that... Pikachu was level 30 before when I practiced this. So, whoops. But you can see here, Pikachu's not even part of it. I'm just using Growlithe and Wrecking. Even though I got paralyzed, doesn't even matter. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. All right. And a Weedle. That is pathetic. So, yeah, you can just see that <laughs> some stuff here not super challenging. I do have Magikarp in the back if I need him. I didn't bring him for this team, did I? No, I didn't, but if I need him for the future, we'll be good. Let's go, get that Fire Blast! That should one-shot. I mean, I one-shot the other guys, so Weedle should be no problem. Ah, uh, yeah. One-hit wonder indeed. I guess having a level 25 Pikachu does have the benefit of giving myself a little bit more of a challenge. So that's definitely a plus, I would say. Because Petite Cup might have been a bit boring if I just had a level 30 come and wreck everything in here. Alright, next up, we have a youngster. Let's see what he has on his team. It's going to be a bunch of basic Pokemon. A Ditto, that might be dangerous. He does have a poison type, or a few poison types, but I have no Psychic on my team. I think I'm actually going to start off with my Geodude here. If he happens to use his Bulbasaur, I can use my Growlithe. And finally, I'll round things off with... Uh, let's go ahead and use my Pikachu. Because he does have two flying types. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Let's go Geo, dude. Those flying types will be weak to rock here. And the defense of Geodude is just excellent. A lot of these things won't be able to hurt me. Though I do have to worry about things like that Rattata happening to have... Um, he might have like an Ice Attack, for example. For here, he's just using Focus Energy. That's just going to raise his crit chance. 
Although I think in Generation 1 it's actually glitched, so it actually lowers your crit chance, so that was a wasted turn for him. I think that Geodude's Rock Throw has pretty bad accuracy. I think in Gen 1, Rock Throw is like 65% accuracy. I could be wrong there, but I think that's right. So I'd much rather just use Dig, and this will do more damage anyways. And one shot, even though his Rattata's level 26. You will notice, sometimes they will have higher level Pokemon, and later on they might even have level 30s, which is why I wanted to have my Pokemon fully evolved when I came in here. But, oh well. Dig will be super effective on Poison type. Do I get to go first? Nope, he's gonna do Glare. I think that paralyzes. Ouch. Well, let's see if I can get my Dig going at least. Alright, we got the Dig. I might get paralyzed underground though, which would definitely suck. So he's gonna use a Wrap. That's gonna miss, of course, because I'm underground. I just have to roll, roll the dice, hope I don't get stuck in paralysis, which I don't. Use that dig, super effective, and I think that's going to take him down. It does, nice! You guys can see why I brought Geodude along for this team. He's very useful. And his last Pokemon is a Bulbasaur. So I brought along my Growlithe just for this reason. So let's go use Growlithe. And Fire Blast will probably one or two shot this. Any grass move he could use here, I'm not afraid of. He might do a Sleep Powder, which might suck. But that's about all I can think of. Leech Seed, eh. That'll just absorb some of my HP every turn and heal him a little bit. But it's not going to do much. So I'm just going to use Fire Blast and see how this does. Got the hit. And it is a one-shot! Nice! Two battles and two perfects! Let's see if I can keep up this streak. Good job, Growlithe! Haven't really had a good opportunity for Thor yet. I mean, I brought him along here for the flying types, but he didn't happen to have any of those. Well, we got an extra continue. Next up is the Thunder Badge. I don't think the badge has anything to do with what those trainers will have. It's just kind of a formality, I guess. Here we have... Ooh, okay, Thor might be good against Shelter here. Let's see. I definitely want Horsey against that Geodude. I think the right team to use here is going to be Geodude. Oh, man. This is a tough one. I think the right team is going to actually be Geodude, Thor, and Horsey. That's tough, man. There's certain Pokemon here that are going to be rough. Um, I think that Geodude will be good against... All against Ghastly, Coughing, and Execute. No, not good against Execute, because he's part grass. I don't know. He'll be good against Voltorb, though. I'll figure it out. Sometimes it's hard to pick which team you want to use, but oh well. Here we have a Execute. I was really hoping not to get that, because I don't have any... I, I did not bring Growlithe. I'm going to use Dig here, and hopefully not get one shot by any kind of grass move. He's just using Bide, which is perfect. That is the best thing they can use when you use Dig. So I'll go under. Next turn he'll just be... Wait, no, he might be charging. So I might get wrecked here, actually. I might have to... Oh, jeez. I don't even know. I didn't think about that. Bite is actually not the best thing they can use. That is not very effective. We'll see how much damage he does back to me. I thought that would be super effective because I thought he was part poison, but I think he's pure grass, actually. That will do... I think it just does double damage back, so that's a thing that happened. I'll just use Strength this time. And that... This is weak, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do against this Execute. Uh... Okay. I'm going to use Strength. We'll see what he does here. He's using Bite again. Crud! I'm going to die here. I should have used Self-Destruct. But if I did Self-Destruct, the next Pokemon coming in would have got wrecked if I didn't kill him. So that is going to be a death here. I'll try to use self-destruct, but I'm pretty sure I'm dead no matter what here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you swapping? Oh, no! No, dude! How did he know I was going to self-destruct? Gosh dang it! That is the worst thing I could have used self-destruct on. I mean, it still does some good damage, but dang it, man. That, he was using Bide. 
Why would he? <sighs> no, I pushed the wrong button. Oh, crud. I meant to push horsey. I just saw the HOR from Thor and I just was like, oh, that's horsey. Gosh dang it. No. Let's go over to horsey. I am so bad at video games, guys. Dude, Geo. Oh. <laughs> Don't self destruct on me. No! Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Survive. Horsey. Yeah, I'm alive. The game. The game is letting me have these bad decisions and still live. Oh, man. Sorry if I peaked my mic at all by being loud. Okay, here's Ghastly. I wanted my Geo dude for this. He's probably going to be faster than me. Uh. I'm gonna go ahead and use Ice Beam and try to get a, a freeze, but it's probably not gonna happen. He's just gonna use Lick, even though I have only six health, that probably will kill me. Oh, I survived with one! Okay, so I got one chance to freeze here. I could have also used Smoke Screen to try to get some misses. And that did not freeze. Didn't do a whole ton of damage either. So I'm going to be in a very bad spot here. I just got to hope he does something that doesn't hurt me for some reason. And he's going to use Lick again. I am in a bad spot here, guys. I have a Ghastly at half health and a Execute at half health. And all I have to fight them is a Pikachu, which does not even have Thunderbolt. So I think my tactic here is going to be go ahead and use a Thunder Wave. Just to get him stuck in place for a bit. It might be the way to go. I can't use Quick Attack on him. I can't... Oh, I can't use Slam, I mean. So, that's not an option. I can't use Quick Attack or Slam. So, Thunder Wave, I am faster. This is good. So, he's paralyzed. I don't know how many Thunder Shocks it's going to take because he does have a good special stat. Why? No! Miss! Or something! Somehow survive! Critical! Oh, my gosh! Oh... Dude, are you kidding me? Gosh. Well, I'm gonna have to try that one again. Using my first continue already, this is pathetic. I think I just have to bring Growlithe because that execute is so hard to deal with, man. So I think the better option here is to use my... I'm going to skip Thor, and I'm going to use Growlithe, Geodude, and Horse... Wait, what does Sh Sandshrew have? No. Wait, maybe, actually. Actually, yeah, let's use Growlithe, Sandshrew, and Horsey. Because Sandshrew will only be two-time weak to Grass and Water instead of four-time. And he has Slash, which is really good. So Sandshrew might actually be better here. And he's starting off with Execute again. This time I have Growlithe, so I'm in a good spot to win this time. Man, I just got wrecked last time. To be fair, last time I made a lot of bad decisions. I probably could have uh, done better there if I just didn't screw up so many times. And not quite a one-shot. Darn it, Cute Egg. But Bide is perfect. If he wants to swap out, he can. And I will just use... I'll use Bite. Even though he might swap to a Geodude here, I'm going to use Bite anyways. Just because Fire Blast has a good chance to miss. So there we go. We got him down at least. So that was one of the biggest threats. Completely gone. And I'm kind of afraid of Shelder now because I did not bring Thor along. So Shelder is now my new uh, big fear. And of course that is exactly what he has. Great. Now what I'm going to do here is use Bite. I'm not going to bother swapping quite yet. I'll use Bite and try to make him flinch. Shelter will have good physical defense, so this probably won't do too much, though. And 13 damage, maybe a flinch. Uh, okay, he's just going to go right into Explosion. I'm actually okay with that. I was afraid of him using a Water Attack and sweeping my team. But if he just wants to go ahead and trade Pokemon here, I'll take it. So he takes my Growlithe, and I get the Shelter. That is perfectly fine with me. So anything he has left, I'm pretty sure that either Sandshrew or Horsey can take. I'm going to send out Sandshrew first, and we'll see how this goes. If he sends out his, um, what was it? If he sends out his Geodude, well, there you go. He's sending out Geodude. I could swap to Horsey, but at this point, I don't have to worry about getting any kind of perfect. 
so I might as well just use my dig here. So I'll just go ahead and spam dig a few times until uh, until my Sandstrom faints. Then I can swap back over and try to use my horsey to finish things off. So let's, let's see how much dig will do. Hopefully it does at least a decent chunk. I just don't want to like swap in and have my horsey dead. It is super effective because he's part rock, and there we go. I just clapped a mosquito, and that Geodude is dead. Yes. So one battle left. Sanshu putting in the work. I just didn't realize how good Sanshu is, man. I mean, I bring Geodude for the rock typing to absorb some physical attacks pretty well from uh, normal types. But Sanshu has that slash attack, which is going to be really useful, I think, for certain enemies. Plus, he only has two-time weakness instead of four-time, like I mentioned before. Oh, boy. Okay, this is going to be a battle where Thor is coming up right at the start. If he has his Machop there, I can swap over to Sandshrew. And I'm also going to bring along a... I'll bring along our savior, Magikarp, who's definitely going to win this for us. I could have brought along Horsey, but I think Magikarp is going to be the way to go. Please, no Machop. Please, no Machop. Thank you. Good, good. Now, I don't have Thunderbolt, so this might take a lot out of Pikachu to win this. He has level 27, so he does have the level advantage on me, but I have the type advantage. Critical hit! Will that one shot? Yeah! Take that, critical! Oh, man. That's good. Okay, just Noma Chop. Please, Noma Chop. We have. Ooh, Horsey, that is perfect. Level 27 again, but that I don't mind. As long as he does not have Machop on his team, I am very happy. Because I think Thor can take down everything else. And we have Magikarp in the back if we need him. Ooh, going to take three Thundershocks to take him down, though. Water Gun is not going to do much. Wow, that did about as much as my Thundershock. That's pathetic, actually. Darn it, Pikachu. Well, I should still have the advantage here. And... Maybe a critical? Nah. I can't be that lucky, can I? Here comes a Swift. I don't know how much this will do, actually. Swift is usually pretty weak. Eh, about the same as Water Gun did. But this last Thundershock will take things down. I don't think I need to use Quick Attack. Don't have to worry about a horse using Quick Attack, so... Thundershock will be fine. And there's the critical, now that I don't need it. And now here comes the time where I really hope he does not have Machop. Though, even if he does, I think I'm going to be fine at this point, because Sandshrew can probably take it down. Ooh, he has a Magikarp! Whatever shall I do? Other than go to my lord and... S oh, that would be... F I'm not going to say that. That's offensive. I was going to say my... My trump card, Magikarp. Here we go. Magikarp versus Magikarp. Mine has more HP, bro. Bring it on. Are oh, you going to tackle me, bro? You going to tackle me? Ooh! What a wimp, dude. Mine has the better color. Mine is full and red. Yours is like some wimpy reddish-orange color. Pisha. Oh, I even have the speed advantage. I don't care that yours is level 26, bro. Look at that! Five damage! Yours only does three. Mine has way better stats than your stupid Magikarp, bro. Learn to EV train, bro. Even though EVs aren't in Gen 1, we have DVs instead. But whatever, man. My Magikarp is superior. Boom. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Yeah, I'm sure they are, man. I'm sure they are. You know, the announcer's got to be so bored sitting here commentating this. No. No, it isn't. It is not growing at all. The crowd is not excited for this. What do you mean, what will it do? I'm doing tackle. He's doing tackle. Stop acting like you don't know what's happening. This is a tackle showdown. Gosh dang it, announcer. No, it's not intense. What are you... Okay, it is pretty intense. What can I say? This is the most intense battle I've ever seen. How could a battle possibly be more intense than this Magikarp versus Magilor battle? Magikarp is the true fish Pokemon. Magilor does not stand a chance. Furious indeed. My HP lead is just getting bigger and bigger as we go along here. 
Come on, Magic Arp, you got this! Full strength tackle, let's go! Get that seven damage in there! What do do? Uh, or just do five. Okay, well, well, I'll try again. This, absorb this tackle, come on! Yeah, little indeed, because my defense is so rock hard and strong! Let's go, get this final tackle, don't you dare miss! Go, Magic Arp! Yeah, the heavy tackle, the full strength! And take that, Magilor! Well, guys, I think that is the most fitting way to ever end an episode. We got the perfect, we had the most intense battle of this series yet. I just can't imagine anything being more intense than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day right here. We'll come back next time and finish off the second half of the Petite Cup Tournament. I'll see you guys then. Take care.